be making bases. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and do me a favor, subscribe as well as like and comment on today's video. So well, let's go ahead and jump into today's content. Basically what I wanted to do is give you some mixing tips on how you can mix a beat made with just Apple Loops. All right, so we have this beat right here. I'll let you hear like the intro and the hook, and then we're gonna get right into mixing this beat and give you some tips you can use. Whenever you make a beat, that you made with just loops, okay? So check this out. So that's the beat right there overall. Um, some, thing, some things to keep in mind here when it comes to mixing your music, especially when it's um, with Apple Loops, is that a lot of these loops are already mixed and uh, mixed professionally. So there's not going to be a whole lot of work that you're going to have to do. The just of the work is going to really be in leveling the, beat, the music. Um, and when I say leveling, just getting the proper levels, making sure certain things are not too loud or too soft in the mix. And then also making sure there's some basic EQ on it. You can also throw some effects on it, but for the most part, especially with this beat right here, I'm going to leave it very, very simple. And then we're going to just be processing the stereo out. All right. So what I'll do first is I'm actually going to go ahead and export this as audio files. Um, we'll turn this normalization off on this. And I'm just going to throw this into a folder. Just call it that. And then what I'll do is just um, basically save as, and instead of saying whatever the beat name is, I'll just put a number two after it. And now we have a brand new session. All right, now uh, once you get your new session created, what you're gonna do is scroll over here to the top right of the screen and click on this guy right here. You're gonna see like the two files and the notes right here. Click on all files and just go wherever that um, project is saved. I got my project on my desktop and I'm just gonna take these and just drag them right on in here. We're gonna go ahead and use existing tracks. And as you can see, since it's made with this beat is made with Apple Loops, it's only five tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and delete actually this audio track we created. And now we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So we have this beat here. I'm just going to rename everything just to make sure everything looks smooth. I'm going to put the beats at the top. Hats are going to be next. And then we're going to go with the bass and, the, and then the melody. I'm just doing this to stay organized, you know, um, want to make sure you do that. And if you um, highlight everything by pushing command A and then push shift option in, anything that you named right here will be named right there. So next thing here is to go ahead and start with mixing uh, or getting the levels. So what I'll do is I'll click on this, this guy right here, which is our mixer window, and I'm just going to turn everything down. And to be honest with you, we're just gonna go over here to the hook, which is right here. And we'll just start bringing stuff up one by one. We're always gonna start with the beat or the, you know, those type of instruments first. So let's listen to it. As you can hear, this is already, you know, pretty much mixed and ready to go. So I don't have to do too much to it. Just get the level. So I'm gonna per turn it up just a little bit more. So we got that. Let's go ahead and bring in the sample.
right and as we can see here when it comes to the leveling here if you look close the beat is going to be higher than most of the other instruments in this beat um, next here i just brought the sample up some more just so you can hear it but it's not too loud and i have the bass tucked right under most of the uh most of the melody right here hi-hats are right around the same places in bass all right so now that we have that going on some other things we could do to really make certain things pop out in the mix is go ahead and do something called subtractive eqing and basically what i'm going to do is take out some of the lows of this sample these two sample tracks right here and what it's going to do is make room for the lows of the of the bass and of the beat so i'll just come over here and do that real quick Alright, so another instrument I'm actually going to take out the uh, the lows on is going to be the hi-hats. You really can't hear any lows on there, but they're, they're in there very, very, very low. So let, we'll just take those out as well. And then for the most part, this beat is already done. You know, like I said, when it comes to mixing music with like Apple loops or pre-made loops and things of that nature, usually these beats or these different tracks are already mixed and mastered. So there's really not a whole lot you got to do. Um, let's go ahead and actually process the stereo out. Basically, what you could do is you could either use a, pro uh, a plugin called Ozone 9. Um, it's by Isotope. OK, or you can come over here and use go to dynamics and go to adaptive limiter. So stereo, and we'll just push up, you know, push this down to zero point or negative point, negative 0 0.1. And as you saw here, basically what I did is pushing, basically this is like the threshold. We're pushing this up and then we got this ceiling right here, making sure it doesn't go over a certain level. Um, let's just listen to it with and without. This is with. This is without. Big difference. Uh, again, you could also do this with ozone. Throw that on there. And basically what I'm doing is I'm using um, a maximizer, okay? So the maximizer is just boosting the level. So I'm just going to take this down to negative 0 0.1, and then you play around with the threshold. Same deal. And when it comes to pulling up the threshold, you basically want to pull it up until it starts, till the beat starts sounding like you know, distorted or, or you start losing some of the mix, that's when you know you need to stop. And I chose not to put too much more to the mix on this. Like I didn't, you didn't see me add a whole bunch of effects, like any reverb or different things like that, because I'm listening to the beat and it, it already has what it needs. Again, you know, when you're mixing music that's already pre-mixed um, using like Apple loops and things like that, there's not a whole lot you got to do to it. So just keep things simple. And uh, thank you so much for watching, man. We're out.